name is Selim Kim and I originally come from South Korea and I'm studying in Lyon now. Uh, I arrived in France one and a um, half years ago. Uh, I love to stay here. Hello, my name is Agathe. I am a French girl coming from the region of Lyon and uh, today uh, my family lives uh, next to Saint-Etienne and I study international business in Lyon. So uh, before I meet uh, Agathe, I have a perception of the French people. Uh, likely, uh, French people are proud of their culture a lot, and uh, they love to discuss and express their opinions. And also, uh, they are very, um, uh, they think very important about uh, um, equality, and they are more than more open-minded than Korean people and uh, less judging less judging others and they are less strict than Koreans of, in terms of time and more individual individualism and uh, independent so I have never been to South Korea but uh, before meeting Lim I was thinking that uh, Korean people were very polite also a little bit shy um, I was also thinking that they have a lot of traditions, but that they also like a lot of new technologies, um, that they have a strong sense of community and uh, they work very hard. And uh, I was also thinking that they follow a lot of fashion trends. to eat and try to use the chopsticks. <laughs> Ow! Considering the power distance, um, we found out the similarity between France and Korea because both of our country use the polite form for the person who is older than myself and also the person who never never known before uh, however the uh, between the friends and the um, close family we can use the um, info life form and concerning the, uh, the second dimension uh, individualism versus collectivism um, we found that uh, France is a very individualistic country, so basically people only care for their family and themselves. Uh, whereas in uh, Korea, the, the people are very collectivist. And um, this can be seen, uh, for example, um, with the weddings. So um, the wedding are not only about uh, the bride and uh, the husband, it's about the whole families, um, but um, also with the fact that uh, people say uh, instead of my country, our country, or uh, even our mother, for their mothers. So. Uh, in terms of the masculinity and feminality, uh, both of the France and Korea is um, more feminism countries. Uh, compared to the masculinity country, we are not really a uh, value for the success of the working life, but uh, more valued to uh, well-being and uh, um, equality and health, like those kind of thing. Uh, uh, as an example, uh, both of the moms of the con uh, moms of the both country uh, more um, care about the health and the um, nut highly nutritive food and the well-being life and the leisures. Um, for uncertainty avoidance, 
Um, in both countries, this is quite high. Um, in France, we can see that because people don't like to be in an uncertain environment. They like to have a lot of information about uh, what is around them and what is going on. Um, for Korea, uh, people uh, want to avoid uncertainty uh, by working very hard all the time. According to Hofstede's long-term orientation, both of France and South Korea are long-term oriented country. However, I can tell um, South Korea is the one of the most pragmatic country in the world. So everything has to be very well done and uh, fast. Um, so uh, everything very goes efficient, especially compared to French administration and Korean administration. Korean administration doesn't take more than two days for everything. But uh, in France, everything has to uh, follow the step by step and it takes longer time than Korea. And uh, this is what we find uh, one of the big difference of the uh, country. Concerning uh, indulgence uh, dimension, um, that is to say um, the fact of um, controlling uh, your feeling or uh, express uh, what you feel. So for um, friends, people quite manage to express their feelings, but in South Korea it's more difficult. Um, people often um, keep their feelings for themselves and, uh, for example, they don't want to hurt people's feelings, so they, um, they are always very nice to each other even when they disagree. To be conclude, we use the Hofstede Six Dimensions Theory to assess our cultural differences and similarities. Um, one of the most important benefits of this theory is since he gave us uh, six dimensions to examine our cultural difference and similarity, we can um, find it out the result quite com complete way. And also, uh, since he gave us some guidelines, we can easily assess the differences and similarity. Um, the main limit to this um, model is, uh, is that um, it is uh, one uh, generality about a society that is very different. Um, all the individuals inside uh, not necessarily have the same, um, um, the same um, dimensions. And um, um, it varies between individuals, between generations, or even between uh, social class within the society. So, this is a useful tool, but um, not um, very precise. Thank, Thank you for watching! watching.